Former Voice contestant Melanie Martinez responds to rape allegations. After being accused of rape by singer Timothy Heller, Melanie Martinez has spoken out. The Voice contestant tweeted the following statement on Tuesday. I am horrified and saddened by the statements and story told tonight by Timothy Heller, the season 3 competitor wrote. Martinez then went into the history of her former friendship with Heller. What she and I shared was a close friendship for a period of time, she continued. We came into each other's lives as we were both starting our careers as artists, and we tried to help each other. We both had pain in dealing with our individual demons and the new paths we were forging, but I truly felt we were trying to lift each other up. She also stated, she never said no to what we chose to do together. And although we parted ways, I am sending her love and light always. Heller tweeted her accusation on Monday and named Martinez as the perpetrator. When I wrote this story about my assault, I initially wasn't going to make the abuser, she wrote. But I think it's important for you all to know this is about Melanie Martinez. In her accusation, Heller wrote she kept the secret for years. She also referred to Martinez as her best friend and said she loved her. It's hard to say someone you loved raped you, she wrote at one point. Someone you still love. The thought of writing this and having the world see it terrifies me. Especially because of who this person is. According to the accusation, Martinez took Heller in, resulting in Heller feeling like she owed her my life. And my life began to revolve around hers, she wrote. I had my own problems, but if I could focus on her life, I could put off dealing with my own inner turmoil for just a bit longer. The inner turmoil Heller noted may refer to her struggles with mental health issues, which she's talked about on her YouTube channel. The sleep singer went on to write how Martinez used her power and control over me. The power she had over me, grew into me having a very hard time saying no to her, she wrote at one point. I would do almost anything for her. One night, according to the accusation, Martinez started asking Heller about her sexual preferences. She then allegedly asked Heller if they could have sex. While being incredibly uncomfortable by this offer, I attempted to laugh it off, Heller wrote. I had a boyfriend at this time, and she knew that. He doesn't have no, it's not a big deal. It went on for hours. Asking me why I didn't want to, that it would be fun. I repeatedly said no. Heller then wrote that Martinez convinced her to smoke weed the following night. Martinez then allegedly asked her again if they could have sex. I would say, my boyfriend would be so upset. I really need sleep. I have work in the morning. I said every form of no I could think of, Heller wrote. According to the post, Martinez then started touching Heller's arm. Heller wrote that Martinez then began asking her if she could perform sexual acts. Can I just do this? Can I touch your arm? Can I touch your boobs? Heller wrote, summarizing Martinez's alleged plea. She began bartering with me. All I wanted to do was go to sleep. Heller then wrote that Martinez begged Heller to let her touch her breasts, promising they wouldn't do anything else. Heller claimed she was so exhausted and confused and high and belittled that she allowed it to happen. This led her to touching the rest of me, Heller wrote. I never said yes. I said no, repeatedly. But she used her power over me and broke me down. Just so there is no confusion, I was molested by my best friend. Heller said Martinez then performed oral sex on her and penetrated her with a sex toy. The bottom line that I need to always remind myself is that, I said no, Heller wrote. For two nights straight. It doesn't matter that I didn't resist during the action. I had been broken down. She knew I didn't want to, I made that clear. I didn't scream at her, I didn't force her off of me. 1. Because I loved her. 2. Because I just wanted it to all be over. Heller said the two friends never discussed that night and eventually grew apart. At the end of her post, Heller made a plea to her followers. The only reason I do this now is because I'm hoping because of recent events, people will believe me, she wrote. If you begin to doubt the abuse taking place in this story, I beg you to imagine her role in this being a man. Girls can rape girls. Best friends can rape best friends. Friendship does